Working on a 2000 Grand Marquis today. Going to be replacing the power steering box. The one in the car has uh, some play in it. We're gonna start by removing that big nut off the steering box that holds the Pittman arm in place. We're gonna use a Pittman arm puller to try to get the uh, Pittman arm off. Here's a look at it uh, with the nut removed. My Cornwall. The Pitman arm is really on there. Looks like we snapped my uh, garage sale Cornwall adapter. It was just brought to my attention that we're using half inch drive and we shouldn't have even had an adapter on the ratchet. Now I got a proper impact sign on there. We're going to remove this cover now to expose the uh, rag joint that holds the steering column to the power steering box. Here are those covers uh, removed off the column. Next we're going to remove the uh, bolt that holds the rag joint onto the steering box. You can see there's a flat spot there that only goes on one way. Here's a look at it. We're going to uh, turn the wheel so it's pointing down. That bolt rides in this groove right here so it's going to have to be removed all the way. Here we're working from the top, we're using a line wrench, we're going to loosen up these two uh, lines that go to the power steering box. We're now going to remove the three bolts uh, that go through the frame that hold the power steering box on. Here we're comparing them to make sure they're the same. Here we're getting ready to flush the power steering pump. Trying something a little new here. We've got the high pressure line coming down. We have it taped to the top of my oil drain. And we've added a hose to the return line. And we have it going to the bottom of this cord of power steering fluid. We've removed the uh, ignition fuse so hopefully the car doesn't start. And uh, we'll give her a shot. Okay. It's working. Keep going. Should I leave it running? Sure.
I guess whatever fuse you pulled was the wrong one, but it doesn't really matter. It's just working all fine. Okay, shut it off. And uh, she's flushed. Here's the power steering box. You can see it's at one lock, one direction. And then uh, basically finding center, you can feel it on there when it's near it. There's lock the other direction. It's important to have the uh, column, the wheel centered with the column when you put this in and have the sun center. Here we're uh, bolting up the power steering box. We've re-loctited these bolts. They were loctited from the factory. And after this, we'll probably hook up the column. It collapses, so it can be done after. Here's the bolt that holds the rag joint. We're going to uh, add some more Loctite to that. You can see it was Loctited. We'll clean up the pitman arm here. Here's a look at the pitman arm. You can see it's got these uh, splines and it has four bigger ones. So it can only go on a couple ways. We're holding the steering wheel straight and we have the wheel straight. And we'll slide it on like that. We're going to back that nut off and uh, lock tight these threads and send that nut back home. We're getting ready to put the uh, lines back on. comes with new O-rings. Here's one of the old ones. You want to make sure to slip those on. It says here to clean the fitting before you put it on there. Makes sense. We might even put a little uh, power string fluid on it or a little Vaseline. Here's the line we can put in with the new O-ring on it. Here we're hosing up the car. We've got the reservoir full. We're going to work the steering wheel back and forth with the car running to uh, bleed out the steering box. It self bleeds. We'll turn it from lock to lock when it's running. We're just going to keep working it uh, so it doesn't make that horrendous noise. Oh boy. You got to suck some out of there? I don't think so. That's uh, right about where we want it. It's good. Fluid's good. I think we're good to go here. and. Uh, that's about it for the power steering gearbox uh, change out. Thanks for watching.